Hey you, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl, and I am live right now in my kitchen. I was not here last night, I missed you terribly. It was so sad, but I just forgot to go live. No, actually I didn't forget. I was busy last night, okay? I was probably watching something on TV, but I am here today and that is all that matters. And if you clicked on this, it's because you saw that I was promising you a very fast and delicious and easy dessert, right? In like two minutes. So you should be excited about that. I'm gonna tell you tonight, the subject is, are you ready? Cannolis, do you like cannoli? Cannolis, actually, cannoli itself is like a plural word. Why do, it seems dark in my kitchen today, I don't know. Does it seem dark? Um, anyway, tonight I am giving away two things. Um, first thing I'm giving away is a set of Hungry Girl measuring spoons. Hungry Girl Measuring Spoons, you see that? Everybody loves these spoons. In the upcoming weeks, we're gonna have some fun news about these spoons, but for now, I think I may have reattached them backwards, but I don't know. These are the Hungry Girl Measuring Spoons. Um, and in addition, I have a new craft. So I, I have all my sticker books, but I ordered something on Amazon that I, I like have been having fun with. It's called Scratch Painting, and there are scratch paint by numbers, but I didn't realize it, but I just ordered the scratch paper. So you get like this, you get like black, it looks like black paper, and then a little like a wooden stick. This is probably for five-year-olds, but I like it. You get this wooden stick, and then you get to scratch things into your paper. So I have for you made this lovely, can you see it? It says, chew the right thing. I don't know, I might decorate it a little more, but it looks all rainbowy and pretty. If you wanna win this, click hearts, tell me, hey Lisa, I wanna win your scratch painting thingy. Also, you could say you wanna win the spoons or you can answer, tonight because the recipe was so fast, I decided to have a little fun. So I started to look up interesting cannoli facts and I thought, well, there aren't that many interesting cannoli facts, but guess what, there are. So I put together a fantastic game of chew and false. Do you know what chew and false is? If you know what it is, take a guess. If you don't know what it is, take a guess. Remember, there are no right or wrong answers whenever you play, you're eligible to win just by commenting. Chew or false is a game that we play where if you think the answer is true, you say chew. If you think the answer is false, you say false. Get it? That's our spin on it, because it's like chew, like eat, hungry girl. All right, I think you get it. Um, yes, Mike, you might want to win and you could win. And if you don't win, Mike, I know that I could probably swing getting a set of measuring spoons for you because I know people. Um, all right. My shirt says Manhattan, New York City, because that to me is the home of the cannoli because that's where I had my first cannoli. Also, I think I look a little like a cannoli because I'm wearing black and white. So this is the most cannoli outfit I've ever had. Um, the scratch thing, are you guys enjoying? Yes, you can find it on Amazon. I sh if I was a nice person, I would link you to it, and maybe I will. So before we get started, I'm gonna give you my first chew false about the cannoli. You're gonna answer while I start to make the recipe. Oh, by the way, Jamie is right. She is saying, if you wanna win the spoons or the mug, you should listen to the Hungry Girl podcast this week. This week's podcast is all about behind the scenes at Hungry Girl, everything that's upcoming, the next book, the next magazine, lots and lots and lots of fun behind the scenes. And we're giving away good things. Hey, Peoria, Illinois. Um, we're giving away measuring spoons and mugs on the podcast. But, okay, are you ready for the first Chew False cannoli question? Here it is. Chew or false, ancient Egyptians used cannolis to treat mental illness. Ancient Egyptians used cannolis to treat mental illness. Is it chew or is it false? Remember, there's no wrong or right answer. I'm gonna tell you more about that in a minute, but I'm gonna show you. Today we're making this dessert out of things, all things that we have used in the past two weeks. So if you follow the bouncing ball and if you watch me make these recipes in my kitchen every night, maybe there's a chance you have these ingredients because I've been using them and I figured, hey, why not just take things that I've been using and um, use them again. So people feel like, well, I didn't buy this whole big thing of rice cakes for nothing, unless you've been making that magic rice cake with your caramel cakes, which maybe you've eaten your whole package. But if you have any left, we're gonna start tonight with the base of a caramel rice cake. It's beautiful. Now for this recipe, you could also use a chocolate one, but the chocolate ones have 10 calories more than the caramel ones. 
So, and I kind of like the caramel ones better, so I thought, hey, I'll use the caramel. Hey, Dana! All right, so we have that as our base. Are you answering? You think, jo Jody, you think that um, ancient Egyptians used cannolis to treat mental illness? Sorry, guys, that's false. That did not happen. I know it's a silly thing, but it didn't happen. So this is our little uh, cannoli base. And hey, Greg. All right, <laughs> what we're gonna do now is take our lovely measuring spoons and we're gonna measure out two tablespoons of low-fat ricotta cheese. Now, we used the ricotta cheese a couple times in the past, I would say, week or so, and I'm gonna be using it again later in the week to make something incredible and savory. Tonight, we're using a dessert because ricotta is always part of the base for a cannoli. It's always part of the cream. So we do two tablespoons of the ricotta, or the rigot, as my more Italian friends would say. Um, and then we're gonna add a half a packet of your sweetener of choice. Tonight I am using Truvia, it's stevia based. And a couple of shakes of cinnamon, because cinnamon is yum. And a tiny bit of vanilla, a few drops of vanilla, to get it to be nice and sweet and creamy and give it a nice vanilla flavor, which is phenomenal. And just the combination of those things really is gonna make it taste like an authentic, classic cannoli. So we've got, can you use cottage cheese? You know, you, you could use cottage cheese and it would make it more like a sweet breakfast, but you could eat this for breakfast. If you only have cottage cheese, I think it's fine. And minis would be great too. Somebody is asking about minis, right? By the way, I'm gonna put this recipe up. I'll give you the URL. I'll give you the URL now. It's gonna be hungry-girl.com slash cannoli. Two N's, one L, cannoli. But don't go there now. If you go there now, terrible things will happen. The boogeyman will be under your bed in the middle of the night. So don't leave this recipe. All right, so we've mixed up our little cannoli cream. Just to recap, that is two tablespoons of ricotta, half of a packet of sweetener and a couple of shakes of cinnamon and a few drops, like an eighth, uh, of vanilla extract. And now we wanna fold in our chocolate chips. See the chocolate chips? This is two teaspoons of minis. I like the minis, they a little go a long way. So we're gonna fold them in, just get the chocolate chips in there. Wow, look at that, that's chip-tastic. Chippy chip chip. All right, before we build our little cannoli crunch cake, I'm gonna ask you another true false question about the cannoli. Are you ready? Put your thinking caps on, people. Okay, this one's a tough one, but think hard. In 1948, a cannoli ran for mayor of Minneapolis. True or false, did a cannoli run for mayor of Minneapolis? Could be, you never know. Like cannolis, they're creative, they're smart, they're sweet, they got their act together. Did a cannoli run for mayor of Minneapolis? True or false? Tell me. All right. While you ponder that question, the very difficult question, I'm going to take my caramel rice cake and I'm going to build, like no one's business, my beautiful cannoli cream on top of my rice cake. This is so pretty. Hold on. I need to get every bit of this. And it's the perfect amount. And you could make... You can make these for your whole family and they would probably love you like a lot more than they love you now if that's even possible. But this whole recipe, how many calories is it? 128 calories. If you use the chocolate one, it's gonna be 138 calories. But why not make it 128 calories? Look at my cannoli rice cake. Did a cannoli run for mayor of Minneapolis, people? Are they saying yes or no? Are they saying chew or false? It's so false! It is not true, it's not true. A cannoli did not um, run for mayor of Minneapolis. Okay, I'm gonna bite into this now because it's too good to not take a bite of. Are you ready? You wanna hear the crunch? Mmm. I have to tell you, the cinnamon makes it because it tastes like that cannoli shell. Perfection. Honestly, this can get away with being a breakfast or part of a breakfast. I would eat this with a couple of egg whites, not at the same time. Like, have your egg whites, then have your dessert breakfast. It is so good. And I'm telling you, you should have all these ingredients in your house if you've been following me. Now remember, tonight, you are winning my gorgeous scratch painting. Look at that. You see that? Beautiful. You can win that, which I made with my own fingers. 
This, these are measuring spoons. The ones you're gonna get, is, they're not gonna have ricotta stuck to them, but you're gonna win a clean set of measuring spoons. You can use white chips. Yes, you can, here's the thing, I wanna inspire you. You can use what you have. If you have peanut butter chips, if you have white chips, if you have milk chocolate chips, it's fine. Your nutritional stats might vary a little, but you can use what you have. And my hope is that I inspire you to make different things. Like, okay, you can do more with the ricotta. Maybe you wanna add some cocoa powder. Maybe you wanna sprinkle chopped walnuts. Whatever floats your boat, people. Are you ready for the next chew false question? So far, they were both false. This one, maybe it's chew. Are you ready? Cannolis are George Clooney's favorite food. Is that chew or false? Is that false or chew? Cannolis are George Clooney's favorite food. If it is chew, George would probably love this right here. Is it chew or false? Tell me what you're thinking. All right, do you want me to recap the recipe? I'm gonna tell you if you missed the recipe, if you didn't write it down, in case you're confused and you don't know what the heck I'm doing, you can go to hungry-girl.com slash cannoli. That's C-A-N-N-O-L-I, two N's, one L. Don't spell it wrong, because then you'll go to a URL that just doesn't work. That would be terrible. Now, if you love these recipes, you should sign up for daily emails. I have to say, tomorrow there's a great email. If you're not signed up, sign up now, because it's all like my favorite mug recipes, I think, right? Isn't that what's smart? Jamie will let me know. I think that my favorite, like all these great mug recipes are in tomorrow's email, so you should sign up. You should also listen to the podcast for a chance to win more spoons and mugs. And you should keep commenting and telling us how much you enjoy this video and all the videos and everything, Hungry Girl, to have a chance to win this or the spoons. Okay, that answer sadly is false. False. I cannot confirm, I cannot deny, but I certainly cannot confirm that cannolis are George Clooney's favorite food. I do think sushi may be George Clooney's favorite food, but that's only because I've seen him in my favorite sushi restaurant like 38,000 times. So there you go. I'm sorry that, um, should I do one more true false question? Okay. Here's my final true false question. Cannolis have magical powers and they can predict the future. Cannolis have magical powers and they can predict the future. Cannoli crunch cake, what will my life be like one year from now? Is it telling me my future? <laughs> Is it true or false, people? You could guess. Thank you. Whoever out there says they love watching my videos, I love you. Thank you for not tuning out and for enjoying this. Um, anyway, that's false. Cannolis cannot predict the future. They are not George Clooney's favorite food. A cannoli didn't run for mayor. And they did not use cannolis to treat mental illness in Egypt. The truth is, I tried to find something interesting about a cannoli earlier today, and I found absolutely nothing. But my final question really is, cannolis are delicious, chew or false? And that, of course, the answer is chew! They are delicious. And now I'm giving you a chance to make one for hardly any calories. It's only 128 calories. A real cannoli is loaded with fat and sugar and all kinds of bad stuff. There are sometimes food. This isn't an everyday food if you want it to be. It's good for you. It has good ingredients and, uh, you know, it's fine. Eat it when you want it. All right. What do we got? Anything else? Any questions? If you guys want to win, how many comments do we have? Um, 1,400. What? Please keep commenting. There's almost 1,500 comments, and the more you comment, um, the more competition there'll be. So I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> but I hope, I hope you win, and I hope your takeaways are as follows. Sign up for the Hungry Girl Daily emails. You can find them at hungry-girl.com. You should listen to the podcast. We'll link you to that right away. You should uh, find out how to get your own scratch pads on Amazon if you want. But if you want the recipe, which is really the main reason we're all here, isn't it? Go to hungry-girl.com slash cannoli. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys. I promise you I'm going to be back later in the week with more things you can do with ricotta. And I know you're going to love this one. I'll give you a hint. It's an air fryer ricotta-centric recipe that may or may not have something to do with pizza and i think you're gonna love it so don't miss out on that in the meantime have a great night and always remember to do the right thing and not and sanitize and wash your hands and whatever i'm lisa lillian also known as hungry girl 
Till next time, chew the right thing.